Alright. That's all we need is it. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay, let's go. You ready? Can't leave the kill without the drugs and the cap, boy. If I wouldn't see neck, baby. Yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown Double H. Man, it's be the five. MP in the cut. Yeah, we get it live. Hey. Moses can't go to any hood, but it's connect shump could, baby shump hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab and P Y used to be uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box not the Pontiac talk couldn't see. And it's life that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a chin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100 wins. 100 wins. Only time I'm gonna tell what it really what did. It did. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100, 100 wins. wins. <laughs> yeah, this is not like a really good angle because like it either. Nah, me either because it's making me look fatter, my head fatter. Like this is not a good look. Say hi. Hi. I thought that was Tato for a second. To help mom see. That's not. That's not like that a really. Good. High. Anyway, we about to go home. I got. I got something from Amazon. Amazon Prime. Y'all know what I be saying, girl. I know I look a hot mess, you guys. My lashes is wonky today. Okay, like this one is really good, and this one is not. And then this one isn't really good, and then this one is. They both just total opposite from one another. I don't know what happened in the process of putting them on, but I. I don't even care. It's 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 four o'clock exactly on the dot right now. I don't even care. My hair done grew so much out of the hair cut that look look at it like i don't even care today i don't really care how i look right mumsy okay. she's so sweet okay you guys i'm about to open up my package i'm gonna open up my package from amazon you know what i'll be saying about amazon amazon prime get your shit on time girl nice big box that is what i say that's what i'll be saying don't listen to mumsy what i'll be saying <laughs> What I be saying, take it. You always be getting it for free sometimes. <laughs> That's not what I be saying. Yeah. Uh, you get it on time quickly. Amazon, you get your stuff on time, right? Yeah, get your free, get your free stuff for free. free sometimes. Get your free stuff for free. <laughs> that doesn't even sound okay. Tato, what did my mom be saying? No, you want to get your shoes out the way? Okay, thank you. Where are you going? Okay, I'll put them away for you. Thank you. I got me some markers from eBay. Yes, you guys, from eBay. I do buy stuff from eBay. And these I bought from eBay are Tez markers. They're much cheaper on eBay versus Amazon. But Amazon Prime, you guys, okay? Amazon Prime. Get your free stuff on time. No, it's get your stuff on time, not get your free stuff oh, on time. And get your stuff on time, Amazon. Say it again. Amazon Prime. Get your free stuff on time. Y'all, you keep messing it up. It's not free stuff. Okay. Just forget it. Just, just, it's Amazon Prime. Get your stuff on time. Hi. Now here, now you say it. Amazon Prime. Get your stuff on time. All right. Now say it like you mean it now. Amazon Prime. Get your stuff on time. Okay. You even got a little bop to it. Okay. Remind me of Wuzzle. Uncle Wuzzle. He would bop like that. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> 
Monty, you going to um record for me my unboxing of my Amazon? No. Come on. <laughs> okay. Fado. Who's this? Uh? Oh, okay, so we got a wagon here, you guys, from Amazon Prime. What did I just say? Amazon Prime? What? You get your stuff on time. Okay, Amazon Prime. Get your stuff on time. Okay, it's a box inside of a box. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully, I don't have to put nothing together, but it is a folding wagon. Oh, say no. You can't you know, put this away, so you don't want to play. You put it right here for right now. Hopefully, I don't have to put it together. I doubt that. I'm seeing I'm seeing bars one, one, that look like they need to be screwed in. Yeah. Oh, it's all put together. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Oh, oh wow. It's really put together. Ooh, it comes with a carrying. Ca oh, I like this. Okay. So it comes right. Mm -hmm. It comes with a little bag. Like, but it's already put together. So this is easy, guys. Look, you can cover it up if you don't want to have it open. This is cool. Take this off. So it's like a little, somewhat like a bag. And you put it in the bag. That thing will keep it together because I don't see any snap or fastenings to hold it together. So this is really easy. All it does is open up like that. Oh, easy. I do believe it holds up to 220 pounds. And here we go. We got to put, are you, we got a handle right here. This is cool. This thing right here. What does this do? Oh, and then you want to lock it. It doesn't have much cushion, so it's just a flat surface. So there isn't any type of seat belts in here. So this isn't for a child. But I'm pretty sure you can put a kid in here. Just make sure they don't jump out. But this is like you can carry stuff in it. So it holds up to 220 pounds, and an eight-year-old child can get in. You want to get in, too? So now we're going to put in the babes because she wants to get in. Here, you want your cup? So the front wheel swivel. And then you have some pockets here so we can put like cups and drinks if you wanted to. Let's see. If you had a bigger cup, you can. But there isn't any child locks or any type of child seatbelt. So this isn't for children. So my suggestion, if you want to put a kid in here, make sure they don't climb over. Okay. But it holds up to 200 to 210 to 220 pounds, which is really good. You can put all type of things in here if you need. If you have tools, this is definitely good for that. We're going to take it for a little ride outside. There's a sparkle in your eyes I feel the warmth of your skin Just the touch of your hand Makes me tremble within Love the smell of your hair Lying here in my bed oh, Never gonna be alone Cause with you, I'm finally coming home I wanna be with you always Cause that is what my heart says That's what my heart says I wanna be with you yeah, friendly fries. Yeah. What's that? It's uh, kids meal. So which one are you gonna get? The chicken tenders, the fried chicken tenders, or the grilled chicken tenders? I don't know. You don't mac and cheese. I know cheeseburger. Cheeseburger is good. What you get in town? Yeah, pick one of these. You got pick one of these for your meal. Tell what you get. Tato. Oh, you got green eyeshadow on. I didn't even notice that. Okay, go ahead, girly girl. Delicious. 
What's the potato is so nosy. <laughs> look, look, if she turns all the way around and watch them leave the oven. Now, what you got? Chicken parm, Brussels sprouts, and mac and cheese. Oh, that does look good. Yeah. That looks good. That looks good. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, fuck my meat. <laughs> look, she's like this. They don't got something. No. Go, 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 she to take the whole thing. Turn it on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear girl. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> Let me split my best. Your whole government. Hold on. I wish I wish to keep being the baddest ever. I just wish for bad things of happiness, happiness and peace. We were trying to go here. Happy birthday, girls. Thank you. She wants some. Happy birthday. Well, that's her birthday. <laughs> I was born this month, so was your That's mother. her birthday, too. How cute is that? Look, look, look. Well, Tato's trying to move in closer. Tato's trying to move in closer. Tell him. Happy, don't look. They both dancing. You can change dance. Right, look at her. No, thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Are you catching our lady in a tram moment? Yeah. We put the tram. I know. <laughs> What's up, guys? Let me put. Let me look. Let me put this seatbelt on before I hear somebody say, "Oh, April, you need to wear your seatbelt." And you are so right. I've been trying to make it happen, but I don't think they really care about people up here. Like for real, I don't really think they care about people here. Because um, you'll not have your seatbelt on and they will not care. Like the police don't care. They don't care if you're on a cell phone. They don't care. They just don't care. I guess there'd be too many people here. So they like, listen, let me just get the real criminals. They, that's on them. But in New York, they let them see you without a seatbelt on. They will turn around in compacted traffic. All right. High volume traffic just to give you a damn ticket because I think they might get something out of it. I don't know, but trust me when I tell you. Anyway, you guys, what's up? I hope you're having like a really great day. That's right. I got on a wig today. I got on a headband wig. Girl, listen, I think for me, wearing a headband wig is the easiest thing ever. Like, because I don't have time in the morning to be spraying no hairspray down and sticking no wig on. I don't got time for that. Let me just put on a nice little cute headband wig that's curly, and I'm good to go, okay? So yesterday I went to the doctor's, y'all. I went to the doctor yesterday because, you know, it was my checkup after meeting my new doctor. And I told y'all I have a new doctor, and I was really excited about meeting her. Really do like her. She's really good. She had prescribed me some medication when I had seen her, like, about three weeks ago. But she started me off on... Um, a low dosage it was 10 milligrams and so this medication they used to use it a long time ago she said for like people that had i think anxiety but they don't use it anymore for that but what it really is good for i guess because it really wasn't good for that it's really good for like if you get headaches a lot and if you're not able to sleep so girl i began headaches like crazy I began like migraines um not a lot but enough okay so yeah a lot because i never got them before and um they gave me a medicine a medication for migraines but I don't really like to take it because it once you take it, you have to be in the house to take that. Like you, you need to take your ass to sleep to take that. It's one of those pills where um it just knock you on your ass, like seriously. And then it make me feel all nervous. I don't like taking pills like that that make me feel nervous or put me to sleep. Well, not put me to sleep, but like make me feel weird. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like stuff like that. And I'm not trying to be 
I'm just not want to be part of that life. Okay. So she had gave me a low dosage and she was just like, I just want to start you off with a low doses. Bro, that stuff did not work for me. Like I had to take like, out of a 10 milligram, I had to take two pills. I had to take two. And so when I went yesterday, I let her know. And um, she gave me an even higher dosage. It was uh, 30, 25 milligrams. And she was like, if it doesn't work in like a week, then start taking two of them. Like I'm about to be taking two. Like, I don't know about that. I be just, I, girl, I would be scary. I am so scary when it comes to, like, taking pills and stuff. Like, no, no, no. I was like, okay, I'm going to get some sleep tonight, right? Why? I went to the pharmacy. They didn't even have my pharmacy. They didn't even have my prescription. So, yeah, they never got it. So now I'm driving back to the office to let them know. Because, you know, you can call on the phone and tell them, but it seems like when you call and tell people stuff, it doesn't get done, at least in my experience, okay? And I could call, because my daughter, Nay, informed me that, no, you could call, and we will get the memo to the doctor, because she worked for them. <clears throat> but I'm going to just, I just, yeah, the memo gets to the doctor on what day, what when, and what time, because I am I need my shit tonight. I did go to sleep last night. Tati gave me these melatonin gummies. Now, first of all, they're five milligrams. I used to take the 10 milligram and I used to have to take three or four of those. So they were five milligram. So the only reason why I went to sleep is because I took about five of them. I took five of them, chewed five of them, and I had to smoke some weed. So that's the only reason why I got tired, okay? That's the only reason why I got tired. Girl, let me tell y'all, okay? First of all, I know this vlog is probably all over the place, but it's all good. Let me tell y'all. So yesterday, um, first of all, these little dresses that I got, they real cute. They from Shein. And I know I told y'all before, I don't, I don't fuck with Shein. I don't, I'm not buying shit for Shein. But then I did switch it up and say, I'm only going to buy their shirts and their little accessories. Because that's what I like. I don't really mess with them for the pants. Because first of all, y'all pants don't never got no pockets, okay? And on top of that, they be running real weird. So I, I'm the type of person I have to try my pants on. Because my butt is not small and neither are my hips. So I'm that type of person I need to try my pants on. And I was getting a 1X from them. <clears throat> and they was just fitting and not fitting nice, like comfortably. So then I started, so then I got a 2X from them. Girl, the 2X, it was way too big in the crotch area. And it didn't even have no pockets. There was no pockets, okay? No goddamn pockets. So I'm sorry about the sun, you guys. There was no pockets. And like, I don't know about y'all, but I need pockets in my pants, okay? I, I just was like, nah, I'm not buying no, I'm not buying, I'm, I'm not, I just don't buy pants for them. I bought these little dresses. You know, I like to look at the reviews. I like to see people review their stuff. I like to see people have their stuff on. That's the type of person I am. I need I'm a visual person. I don't I, thank you for your model, but she's a model. I need a person that's average person, like a real person. I mean, she's real too, but you understand what I'm saying? Like she got the curves in the right places. Plus, y'all be photoshopping. So I'ma need a real person that purchased the shit. So I go off of that. And it's very helpful because some people I'll just be like, oh, okay, if you look like that and that, then I know I'm gonna probably look like that and that too. And that is not what I want to look like. I don't know about you, but honey, I do not want to look like that in that shirt or dress. So I'm gonna just bypass. That's what I do. See these dresses, right? They was like, you know how some colors be like cheaper than other colors. It might be a sale or whatever. And I was like, oh, those are cute. Let me look at the pictures because it it looked like it said a thousand plus reviews. That's what it looked like it said. It might have said five hundred. I don't know, but there was a lot of reviews on had the plus sign so i might have said a thousand plus either way i knew i was gonna see some pictures you know when there's a whole lot of reviews like that i know i'm gonna see some pictures so i hit the little review thing number and bring me to all different types because you know i'm in the plus size section honey that's the section i'm in they do got this in the skinny girl section too but i was not in that section and theirs is a few dollars cheaper but i was not in that section so i see women of all sizes plus sizes i'm like yes i know i'm gonna find out if i really want this dress plus they was cheap like one was like ten dollars i think the light blue one was like ten dollars the yellow one was like ten and then the other ones was twelve either way i was like okay let me let me get it she looked good in it she uh she don't really know she should have put a shirt with that yeah mm, that dress is cute but it doesn't look great for you you know what i'm saying okay i think i could do this this be me right girl so i think there's like 14 of them 14 different colors if i'm correct like straight up i'm being dead serious all right because i got six of them in my cart right now and i got six of them that was sent to me you know that i purchased they weren't sent to me because i purchased these shits okay after pay you know after pay when you ain't got to pay all the front okay mm -hmm. so i got six of them i got a red one i got a black one i got a yellow one i got a royal blue one i got a lavender one and i got a burgundy one i got six of them and all in a size one x and I got some other things that, you know, it's okay. I'm going to send them back. Okay, good. I'm not about to wear that. I had on a red one yesterday. And I, me personally, they like little 
they look they, they're short they come like right to the knee they flow out they're cute they're cute okay but me i wear like one of these little tank tops you see one of these underneath it because i don't like my bra strap showing and this is the strap it's adjustable strap though in the back it does adjust but this is the the width of the strap and i'm not about to be having my bra showing i, I bought six of them they so comfortable and i and but i also wear some legging shorts underneath it a machine brand you know that i call them cooler cooler sweaters because of the fabric that they made with so i call them cooler sweaters because girl listen i wouldn't wear these biking shorts anywhere else unless it was underneath something because it's those type of biking shorts where you make your cooler sweat and shit you just don't use certain fabric for certain stuff and they're not made for wearing biking shorts with they made for the dress because it's flowy but it's not made for the biking shorts that's that's in my opinion but you can wear them however the fuck you want to wear them so I wear like you know my little sports bra because I don't want my bra showing, and um, little tank top thing here from Hanes, you know Hanes brand. Well, I got a whole bunch of these, but anyway, you can get them from Amazon. Six pack for twenty six dollars. I got the size forty. I don't like my bra showing. I don't, and I don't like to feel like just. I I, I like to be feeling secure in my clothes. Like, let me make sure because I don't trust the dress. You know, you get a good strong wind and it's a flowy dress. Yeah, because that already happened to me. And they gotta have on shorts. So I had a red one on yesterday. And I went to the grocery store, Mexican grocery store. I had to go to Food City, right? So I'm in there I'm getting some stuff for dinner. And this young man, black, this black young man, he asked me, he goes, he was like, excuse me, can I ask you something? And I was like, sure, what's up? He was like, doesn't this turkey meat look old? Now he had some ground turkey, he had two of them by the brand Genio. He had one that was real pinkish color. Then he had one that was a brownish color. And I was like, um, it might look old to you, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's old. It, it means that the air hit it. That's why the meat color changes. That's why the meat color changes. It doesn't necessarily always mean it's old, but you still need to check the expiration date. And it wasn't expiring until today, but I did tell him, well, you got the other one in your hand, just get that one. Like, what does it matter? What are you asking me for? But I'm trying to be helpful because, you know, you look young or whatever. So maybe you need some guidance. Okay. So then I walked back to my section because I was already over there. I just moved back over. And he was like, can I ask you something? And I'm like, oh, brother, this is what I say. I'm like, oh, brother. I didn't say it out loud, but I just said it to myself. I was like, what's up? You don't, Do you have anybody at home appreciating you? I was like, what? He was like, I just want to know, do you got anybody that appreciates you like a man? He was like, you don't got no man at home that appreciates you? So he keeps going on, and I already know where this is going. Like, I said, listen, first of all, I'm probably old enough to be your mother. Second of all, I just told you I'm single by choice, and I'm not the one for you. I'm not for you. And he was like, well, I get young, I'm 40. I was like, you're 40, right? Okay. I said, like I said, I'm still too old for you. And second of all, you look like you're not in your 40s. So then he's still standing there talking to me and I'm trying to just be real calm and nice because I don't be want to pet, put off no bad vibes to anybody. I'm just trying to be a better person. And like I said, he looked, he looked young. He looked like he could have been my son's age, who's 30. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, sometimes these young people, they need a little guidance. Sometimes the fuck they don't. Anyway, he's still standing there. He's asking me, well, what am I going to make for dinner? Because I, my car, I said, I'm making tacos, okay? And he was like, oh, I am too. And I was like, oh, really? Okay, well, that's nice. And he was like, I, I bet you my tacos is better than yours. I said, I bet you they're not. So he's still talking to me, and I'm like, okay, this young guy is going to get cussed out. He then says to me, well, I'm really 30. I'm going to be 35. And I was like, oh, you forgot your age and everything. He's like, well, I was thinking to, for the future. I said, well, you must have forgot that at the future you got a wife and a girlfriend at home or whatever at home too, right? And did you forget about the future that I did say to you that I'm not interested, okay? He was like, well, you know, you just look so beautiful. What did he say? He was like, you just look so beautiful. I had to stop and... um. Oh, there goes the proper spot. I wanted to talk to you. And I was like, okay, well, you asked me about the meat, and I gave you my answer to that. I'm not really sure why you asked me, because do I look like I work here? Now I'm getting irritated at this point. And he was like, no, but, you know, all that wagon you dragging. I just, I said, excuse me? What? Did this? He said, he had the audacity to say to me, well, you know, all that wagon you dragging, I just felt the need to talk to you. I said, you know what? That's the reason why he said not to be disrespectful. I said not to be disrespectful. I said, this is the reason why I'm single by choice, because it's niggas and black men like you that say the most disrespectful shit out your mouth. Now, get the fuck out of my face and have a great day. He was like, no, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I said, you're not trying to be disrespectful for what you just said to me. I said, man, listen, get the fuck up out of my face before you see who be getting dragged. The thing that gets me, you guys, is 
where the fuck do you not think that that's disrespectful to say to any woman about a wagon they drag it? So you talking about my ass and you think that that's not disrespectful to say to me. I don't know what bird brains that he talks to that find that as a compliment. But first of all, he looked like he weighed about 120 pounds. Now, I, yeah, mind you, I could have just grabbed you up by your fucking neck and we would have had a whole problem. But I didn't do that because, I, like I said, you look like you was one of my kids age and you need some guidance. But how dare you say that to me, a grown ass woman, and think that it's not res disrespectful. I could have knocked his effing teeth out of his mouth, but I chose not to. I told him to get the F out of my face. And he still was trying to say that he didn't feel like it was disrespectful. This is the problem with the world. Y'all be saying some dumb, weird, crazy shit and think that it's not disrespectful. And then when y'all get popped in the fucking mouth by people like myself, y'all be like, oh, my God, I'm the victim. Yeah, so that was like really out the norm. And this is what the dress looks like. It's a cute dress. I like it. It's very comfortable. Um, I would highly suggest wearing biking shorts underneath it because, yeah, just wear biking shorts underneath it because it flows and the wind blows. And yeah, so they said they sent it yesterday, but the pharmacist said it wasn't there. So they resent it. So we're going to see. But oh, my legs are killing me. I swear. It feels like I have been walking in my sleep. Like, seriously. It feels like I've been walking in my damn sleep. I, I'm going to have to go back to the vein doctor. Because my legs are bothering me again. That looks nice. Tati made a cake for Nate's 21st birthday. Good, guys. That looks nice. Made from scratch. That's cute. No, no, no. Nate, go back upstairs. Oh, stay up there. Wow. What she said? Fish bar your time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear May. Happy birthday to you. I didn't even see the Barbie doll. Because there. you don't have your glasses on. I don't. It looks cute. Yeah. Woo! Woo! You made it? You made yeah. that? What's up, guys? Good morning. Oh. Looking a hot mess. It's Sunday. Got my homeboy and my homegirl in the back. We headed to Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. We're getting munchkins. We're getting um, cold coffee. And then I'm going to take my butt home and I'm going to record four videos today. I'm ready. It's 9.38. I'm ready to do what I was supposed to do yesterday. But I felt like I just wanted to sit on the couch. You never just want to sit on the couch and do nothing. I'm in a better mood today to do videos. Yesterday, I was just like, no, I don't feel like it. I really don't feel like it. What you over there talking about laughing about in the back? Now, see the potato monster. Her and Tinky. What's the matter? We're going to get some munchkins. You love munchkins. Yeah. <laughs> About to get some munchkins, some munchkins. Here we are. Good morning. What can I get for you? It's a mobile order for April. For Angel, go ahead and pull forward. Thank you. You're welcome. Set for April. Okay. For Angel? I'll be Angel for today. Whatever. I don't understand that for you. Me either. I said April. I did say April. She said Angel. That That is what I am. I am an angel. I'll be Angel for today. Okay, I'm Angel. My name is Angel for today. Your name, your name is gonna be Peter. Me? Peter, and that's gonna be Penny. Tito? Yeah, her name is Penny. <laughs> her name is gonna be Penny. Your name is Peter. My name is the eat Munchkins. Ooh, I needed that coffee. Mmm, mmm, cold brew, brewing it up. Yeah, we got a nice little thing of Munchkins back there. Twenty-five Munchkins for them two to share. I just needed this. <laughs> Okay. And he's on their side. Who's on, wait, who's on what side? On Sean's side. Why? Um, he wants me to get the hell out, probably. He's one of the witnesses. And so, Susan, when I called her, she's like, yeah, she just left the house, guys, come over now. And you can get your head down. So you can get her head over there. Who's doing our hair? Get down from the corner like that and sit.
waiting for our pictures to be taken. We're here at JC Penny's. Me and all my grandkids. We want to take pictures today. Tato's getting her diaper changed. Little baby Jalen is going for a walk with his mom. And me and the other three are right here, children. Right? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Look at this guy! Woo! Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Jay, can we try seeing the boys on the floor? You're doing so good, Jalen. Get up, Julia. Child. Good thing I just wear my wig on. She was over that. Tato, right? I'm done. Y'all taking my picture. I know. 